In geometry, two triangles are congruent when they have the same size and shape. This means their corresponding sides are of equal length. And their corresponding angles have the same measure. Congruent triangles might be in different positions and orientations. But they can overlap perfectly with each other. By translating, rotating, reflecting, or through any other movement. There are four primary ways to tell whether two triangles are congruent. First, SSS, side side side. Two triangles are congruent if their three corresponding sides are of equal length. This is because there is only one way to construct a triangle with three given side lengths. Second, SAS, side angle side. Two triangles are congruent if two sides and the angle between them are the same. Here too, there is only one way to construct a triangle with this information. Third, ASA. Angle side angle. Two triangles are congruent if two angles and the side between them are the same. As before, there is only one way to construct a triangle with this information. The last one is RHS. Right angle, hypotenuse, and side. This applies only to right angle triangles. Two right triangles are congruent if they have the same hypotenuse and one identical side. Using Pythagoras' theorem, we can be sure that the third side is also equal in length. This leads us to the SSS case which confirms that the two triangles are congruent. You might wonder, what if the non-included angle isn't a right angle? Like here. Can you still tell whether the two triangles are congruent? The answer is no. Because given this information, you could form different triangles. In summary, if you identify any of these four cases, you can be confident that the two triangles are congruent.